It's been a while since I made a video about Fujifilm film simulation recipes. A couple of years ago I made quite a few. Some about my recipes, some about recipes from Fuji X Weekly and those were the fun days. Just going out and taking photos with my favorite film recipes and then talk about them, like this video today. What most people don't know and I already talked about in an old video is the fact that you can use Fujifilm recipes for video as well and you can get some really amazing results straight out of camera. Film simulations are the reason many Fujifilm users got a Fujifilm X camera in the first place and while film simulations that come with the camera are great, in time they can get boring and that is why me and other Fuji users love film recipes. Sadly, the recipes in this video will not work on all cameras but you may find a version for your camera on Fuji X Weekly or for those made by me you can ask me for help with the recipe in the comments below. While we are talking about Fujifilm simulations and recipes, let me tell you a couple of important tips for beginners. The first one is related to dynamic range. If your dynamic range options are grayed out, you need to raise the ISO. Depending on your camera, this should be around ISO 320 for dynamic range 200 and 500 to 640 for dynamic range 400. Or you can just put the camera in auto ISO. Another thing you should know and should not get scared by is the fact that with some recipes your camera is going to be a bit slower. To be more exact, it will take longer to process photos after you take them and that is because of the clarity option. When you use the clarity option on plus or minus, not zero, the camera is going to take longer to store a photo on your card than normal. This happens on all Fujifilm cameras including the new ones like the X-T5. So the first recipe in this video is my own and the one I use when I don't want to edit photos because it looks good to me straight out of the camera. This recipe doesn't mimic any film stock and it is a recipe that may change in time so I am going to update it in the community posts. People that follow the channel may have noticed that sometimes I like a greener tone, subtle but greener and with this recipe is exactly what I wanted to achieve. Some of you are going to be happy to find out that this recipe uses auto white balance with the ambience priority on and red and blues set to minus 2 for that subtle green look I talked about earlier. I wish I could have added more color because I think you can always add more color to classic chrome but 4 is the maximum you can add in Fujifilm cameras. I didn't want to make a crazy looking recipe, just something that works all the time and in my opinion it does 90% of the time. Clarity is set to minus 2 because I don't want to use a diffusion filter and the clarity option on minus works great with an increased dynamic range to make highlights and reflections look better. Also, this recipe works in bad weather if you increase exposure compensation. Here you have to experiment because it acts differently depending on the weather and the light you have at your disposal. My AD Chrome recipe also works very well for a video in case you want good looking footage straight out of the camera and because these new cameras use 10 bit the files you get can be easily adjusted in post if you need to. And when I like to have normal natural looking footage from vacations or for b-roll I use Provia with highlights and shadows at minus 2 and maybe color at minus 1 or plus 1 depending on the scene and subject. This gave me great natural results almost all the time. The next one is of course Portra 400, well not exactly the one on Fuji X Weekly but based on the two versions that you can find there with some minor adjustments. Those look great but I made this look closer to how I remember Portra 400. While this will not be accurate for some, I like the results I get. 
I don't think any recipe is going to recreate the exact look of film, but we can have some fun with what we have. Here are some shots that I took with my AD Chrome recipe and the Portra 400 for you to see a comparison and understand why I keep both in my camera. That is quite simple, one is cooler and the other is warmer, being the perfect combo for a variety of subjects. The next one is mine, called Bad Ink. I made a video about it two years ago and then it got more popular after Goffy included it in one of his videos. Thank you, go check out his channel, he has some interesting videos about recipes. This was meant to resemble those old bad looking black and white newspapers that looked like they were printed twice. Too bad we can't replicate smells, I would print some photos and add a dash of bad ink. The next one is Ektar 100. I have this on because I love to visit the north of Spain from time to time and this recipe is amazing for rocky seashores that also have some greens. It is also great for a video in these type of conditions. While there are a lot of great recipes out there, these are the ones I use the most and almost never leave my XD5. I also have the Kodachrome 64 recipe on from time to time, but the results are mixed and I get annoyed and delete it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, subscribe, like and ring the bell to get notified when I release new videos. And if you want to support the channel even more, use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.